How do you transform an ordinary moment into a touch point? Establish what those touch points should be in advance. Sometimes we, we like all organisations, create KPIs, things we want to achieve. Uh -huh. So achievement of a KPI should be celebrated, and that becomes the touch point, because that delivers in line with the corporate objectives that you um, were mandated, perhaps, from head office. So don't artificially create touch points. Uh -huh. Set them in advance, celebrate them, um, acknowledge acknowledge the value of them, explain to the organisation why that was important. It might be uh, capturing new logo sales. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Is it just the dollars that came in with that? No, it's not. It's the reference account. It's the in perpetuity customer you have for many years. It's the software development lessons you get out of how that customer deployed that solution and why their business was safer. It's the war story you tell the analysts that helps others understand why, that's, why that win was so good for the business. And other customers come behind that rallying point. The difference between success and failure is often a very, very small percentage. But winners continue to win. Mm -hmm. And that momentum builds behind winners in ways that it doesn't behind the silver medalist. Mm -hmm. There was an expression very unfair back in the days with uh, the Olympics that the silver medalist is the first of the losers.